High on a mountain in northern Israel, a team of researchers are searching for the roots of modern man. During their important work, the team then find a fossil buried beneath the ground, and incredibly later investigation suggests that it's the oldest evidence of Homo sapiens ever found beyond the bounds of Africa. And what's more, that being the case, this discovery could have astounding implications for history as we have hitherto known it. Archaeologists have discovered the oldest human fossil ever found outside Africa. Millions of years ago, of course, a diverse range of creatures populated our planet. And somewhere down the line, the great apes appeared. Yet while some of these so-called hominidae went on to evolve into the orangutans and chimpanzees that we can see today, others evolved in a very different way. Over time, you see, the homo emerged. This is the categorization of species that would eventually spawn modern man. So after a number of our early relatives had evolved, humans finally developed. Yet all these thousands of years later, we still understand little about how this evolutionary process actually took place. What scientists know about human evolution is, in fact, changing all the time. After all, there are no written records to draw upon, and relics such as tools can be difficult to date. And yet experts are able to shine a light into the darkness by studying the fossilized remains of early humans. Through fossils, then, scientists are able to understand more about our species and their knowledge is expanding all the time. Until recently, for example, fossil evidence seemingly indicated that modern humans had emerged some 200,000 years ago. However, a skull discovered in Morocco in 2017 was dated to some 100,000 years before that. Fossils can be studied for more than merely creating a timeline, though. Using fossil evidence, for instance, scientists have long debated about the location from which humans had come. In fact, experts had once broadly agreed that the first Homo sapiens appeared somewhere on the African continent and then spread out around the globe. This idea actually began to take hold in 1871, when Charles Darwin suggested that Africa was the cradle of human life. Writing in The Descent of Man, Darwin pointed toward the fact that gorillas and chimpanzees, two of mankind's closest relatives, still lived on the continent during his own time. And from this, he then reasoned that it could also have been where Homo sapiens first emerged. When the remains of other Homo species were found around Europe and Asia, however, Darwin's ideas were dismissed. Then, in 1924, something incredible was discovered. The fossilized skull of a boy thought to have died more than two million years before. Dubbed the Tong Child, the skull was eventually identified as belonging to Australopithecus africanus, a supposed early forebearer to modern humans. Then, over time, excavations in the area revealed more fossils similar to those of the Tong child. And eventually, the scientific community came to accept that the first humans had likely emerged on the African continent, just as Darwin had suggested. For years, then, this theory of human evolution remained dominant around the world. Thousands of miles away, however, a team of archaeologists in Israel stumbled across something that could change that narrative for good. Back in 2001, you see, Professor Mina Weinstein Evren from Israel's University of Haifa and Professor Israel Hershkovitz from Tel Aviv University joined forces. And together they set out to work on an ambitious excavation. Dubbed the Mislia Cave Project, the dig aimed to excavate a site high up on Mount Carmel in northern Israel. Many experts believed that this region was settled in Paleolithic times, which span roughly between 17,000 and 2.6 million years ago. And in Miss Leah Cave itself, archaeologists had in fact found layers of history dating as far back as up to 400,000 years. Archaeologists also believed that early humans had once populated Miss Leah. In fact, experts had previously determined that the area had been inhabited between 250,000 and 160,000 years in the past. Dating procedures performed on pieces of flint had suggested this time frame which would see it fall under the early Middle Paleolithic period. So, at Miss Leah, Weinstein Evren and Hershkovitz hoped to find the holy grail of paleoanthropology. Evidence that would shed light on the origins of Homo sapiens. Nothing, however, could have prepared them for what they actually uncovered. As Weinstein Evren put it to the Times of Israel in 2018, we have found something even more surprising. To offer a bit of context, archaeologists have been excavating the region around Miss Leah for 10 or so years. And slowly they began to build up a fascinating picture of ancient life in the mountains of Israel. For example, a team uncovered a huge cache of some 60,000 tools, shedding light on how early humans had lived and worked. Forged from flint, 
The tools actually represent a number of different stages of human development. So while the archaeologists found primitive axes among the relics, they also uncovered more advanced pieces, such as knives and projectiles. The experts also discovered evidence of how the tools had once been used. The new zoological data from Miss Leah Cave, particularly the abundance of meat-bearing limb bones, displaying filleting cut marks and the acquisition of prime-age prey, demonstrate that early Middle Paleolithic people possessed developed hunting capabilities researchers reported in a 2007 article for the Journal of Human Evolution. Archaeologists also discovered a vast array of animal remains at the site. They had a delicatessen in the cave Weinstein Everin quipped to the Times of Israel. In fact, she noted that the remains of meat from creatures such as aurich, wild boar and hare, not to mention ostrich eggs, were all present. They supped on ham and eggs she continued. And that wasn't all. At Miss Leah, archaeologists further uncovered potentially the first evidence of upholstery. This was in the form of padding that had lined seats surrounding the cave's hearth. The most exciting discovery was, however, that of a jawbone. The bone had been dug up from the earth in 2002. Apparently, a freshman student had uncovered the jawbone the first time he'd attended one of the group's digs. Buried in what's known as petrified soil, the fossil had then been carefully taken from the cave and sent to a laboratory. There, the painstaking task of removing layers of sediment from the find began. It is a frustrating process that takes a lot of time, Hershkovitz explained to the Times of Israel. It must be done step by step in order not to damage the fossil. It took about a year just to clean it up and prepare it for study. Eventually, though, the discovery was revealed in all its glory, and the archaeologists were amazed by what they had found. To their surprise, the fossilized jawbone actually appeared to be that of a modern human. However, there were some problems with this conclusion. Apparently, you see, the fossil had been found within layers believed to date to the early Middle Paleolithic period specifically, between 250,000 and 140,000 years ago. So given that, the team felt that they could confidently assume that the fossil was more than 120,000 years old. Up until then, however, the earliest evidence of Homo sapiens outside of Africa was recognized as having originated between 90,000 and 120,000 years ago. So had they broken this record with their startling discovery? Well, it's fair to say that some people were skeptical. And this was despite the fact that previous similar fossils had also been discovered in another cave close to Mount Carmel. There had also been supporting finds at a different site around 30 miles away at Mount Precipice near Nazareth. Yet the team still found it difficult to convince others of the legitimacy of their incredible discovery. It looked so modern that it took us five years to convince people because they couldn't believe their eyes Weinstein Everin told the New York Times in 2018. So the team embarked upon a quest to secure a concrete date for their find. And even though the fossil only consisted of an upper jawbone and eight teeth, it revealed a large amount of information. To access this data, one of the first steps was to send the fossil to the University of Vienna. This is where paleoanthropologist Gerhard W. Weber runs a virtual laboratory. There, experts set about determining whether the jawbone had come from Homo sapiens or from Neanderthals. In his laboratory, Weber produced a 3D model of the fossil, allowing him to see its features in greater detail. He was also able to virtually strip away the teeth's outer layers. And with that data, he compared the jawbone to other Homo sapien remains as well examples from additional Homo species. And eventually, Weber concluded that the jawbone's characteristics matched those of Homo sapiens. It's not a little bit modern, or on the border of being modern he told the New York Times. It is a really modern human. Then, following this thorough research, other experts began to agree. That wasn't the end of the dating process, though. After that, in fact, researchers in Israel, Australia and France got to work on the fossil. Through enamel and dentin from the teeth as well as tools found near the fossil and sediment from the jawbone, these experts were able to learn even more about the ancient find. Finally, then, the experts revealed a startling date for the fossil. And just as the team had suspected, its age was in line with other discoveries at the site. In fact, the human that the jawbone belonged to is thought to have lived between 177,000 and 194,000 years ago. 
This thing is as old as we thought it was, and it was probably the earliest Homo sapien out of Africa, ever found anthropologist Rolf M. Quam from New York's Binghamton University, told the New York Times. It's not very often you can make a superlative statement, but in this case we can. So in January 2018 the team were ready to reveal their discovery to the world. And although their findings were deemed unusual, they are not the only experts with evidence supporting a different narrative of human evolution. In fact, some believe that Homo sapiens may have existed in Eurasia as early as 220,000 years in the past. Some experts also believe that those early humans might have mixed their genes with Neanderthals. Indeed, it has long been suspected that the different species of Homo interbred with one another. The new dates suggested by this fossil have, however, forced archaeologists to reconsider the nature of these relationships. It means modern humans were potentially meeting and interacting during a longer period of time with other archaic human groups, providing more opportunity for cultural and biological exchanges Quam, who is a co-author on the research, told The Guardian in 2018. However, that wasn't the only revelation. As we've seen, most experts previously believed that Homo sapiens first left Africa around 60,000 years ago. And while earlier remains had been found in Israel, it had been theorized that these were left over from unsuccessful attempts at migration. In fact, in 2015 archaeologists announced that they had found human teeth believed to be 100,000 years old in China. This is thousands of miles from where Homo sapiens were thought to have emerged. So the recent study of the Miss Leah jawbone could represent the earliest discovery of modern humans outside of Africa yet. And according to some experts, findings such as these suggest that early humans spread across the planet in a series of migrations, rather than in one push. What Miss Leah tells us is that modern humans left Africa, not 100,000 years ago, but 200,000 years ago Hershkovitz told The Guardian. This is a revolution in the way we understand the evolution of our species. Moreover, experts believe that early humans were not merely passing through the region around Mount Carmel. Evidence even suggests that the site was inhabited for an extended period. It was a central train station. People were coming and going through this land corridor from one continent to another, and it was occupied all the time Hershkovitz told the journal Nature in 2018. Yet it's believed that the area might have presented a challenging habitat for early humans, with lengthy dry spells, interspersed with wetter periods. Some experts therefore think that the Miss Leah fossil could be evidence that Israel was once part of a bigger region that bridged the gap between Asia and North Africa. But while the Miss Leah fossil has sparked an interesting debate, some have expressed doubt over its true age. For example, there have been concerns that multiple X-rays could have skewed radiation readings. And it has been suggested that material on the jawbone could have further influenced the dating process. The team have defended their discovery, however, pointing out that the fossil was found alongside tools dating from a similar era. And if the team's findings are correct, their discovery could have huge implications for the future of paleoanthropology. As Hershkovitz told Science in 2018, if our species was in Israel 200,000 years ago, it suggests our species is very old, not just 300,000 years old, but older. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.